Hey, hey, what is up? YouTube, Andrew Rooney here, full-time drummer and drum teacher based right here in Auckland, New Zealand. We are back with a PayPal request for friend of the show, supporter of the show, friend of mine, Mike Gammon. Hey, Andrew, forgive me if I rave a little bit here, please. <laughs> Anytime I can send you something from Earth Drive, Earth Drive, as you know, my favorite band for all sorts of good reasons, it's a good day. And they've just released their second single from their upcoming album, Light Codes. The song is The Bridge. This follows musically and lyrically from the last new song you reacted to from them, True Passage Into The Void. This incredible band from Portugal has everything. This is the great pristine singer and poetic lyricist Sara Antunes, who writes lyrics that are very literally philosophical and spiritual poems. The amazing lead guitarist and musical artist in the true sense of the word Hermano Marquez, the exceptionally talented and creative Sebastio Santos on drums, and the great bassist and technical wizard Fernando Matias doing the mastering and mixing. This really is miles ahead of anything. This really is miles ahead of anything anyone else is doing on several levels, not for kids. I am including the lyrics below for your reference. Like all Earth Drive songs, a little background and context is probably helpful due to the depth of everything that is going on. So here is a nicely worded summary, not from me, that I think sheds some good insight. The Bridge is the second single from Earth Drive's new album and addresses processes of transmutation and full confidence in crossing a bridge. Between a reality of false security, old habits, patterns and limiting beliefs to a new reality where the unknown is embraced, with a deep belief in a new time of experiences of rebirth and growth. The bridge symbolizes the duality and conflict between the comfort of the known and the uncomfortable challenges of the unknown, overcoming the fear of the unstable cloudiness of the waters that surround this bridge. A ritual begins that interconnects perfectly with true passage into the void first single through a sonic tale that braces the, embraces the two themes, uniting them equally in the concept and theme that continues throughout the rest of the work. Yikes, this is heavy. Okay guys, I will include the full lyrics in the description because as Mike said, this band is pretty deep and you wanna get a good understanding of where they're coming from and what's going on in the vocals because you know there's a lot going on in the music as well with their songs uh, as a, yeah as I say full lyrics in the description of my video and original video link as always in the description of each of my videos I gotta go grab a coffee and get into it let's go moody
pulling a bit of a Black Sabbath here. <laughs> it's good stuff. stuff right i am gonna take a minute or two here and actually have a good read through these lyrics um i'm not gonna read them out to you i'm not gonna go and read like poetry like this to you in my kiwi accent as i said at the start of the video full lyrics in the description of my video so please do check it out I i'm not gonna read sit here and go I'm back in the times where I'm bleeding. Because that's how we talk in New Zealand, all right? Everything, end of any sentence or any phrase, up. Over the tides and the storms. So I'm not going to sit here and embarrass myself and embarrass the band by reading that. Read it yourself in your own time, in your own head, and come back to me. I'll be here with my coffee and we'll have a chat about it. Five minutes later. So I just had to read through, obviously, some really, yeah, as you said, Mike, some really philosophical, deep lyrics there. Um, that kind of thing I find is always tricky. It's like, you know, when someone recommends a really great movie and that changes everything about how you go into the movie to watch it. And for different reasons, you know, can depend on whether you like the person who recommended it or how you feel about that person or how you feel at the time are you tired are you grumpy you know when you go to watch the movie how you're going to react to it um do, do you know what i mean it can be it can be quite hard recommending something it's normally a lot better to it's normally easier just to experience it yourself and go you know i did not realize these guys were so good um and often you know, I, th I feel like a, with a band like this, I would go and see them live and be like, oh, yeah, I feel it and I get it now because different things hit different people differently. How many times can you say different in one sentence? Um, and it's sort of when you're ready to hear it in a way. Um, yeah, ho hopefully that little rant make, made sense. So, I mean, it is a difficult, that I'm, what I'm saying is it's a difficult task, you know, getting people to read lyrics and, you know, check this band out and... I feel this when I hear them and um but yeah I mean possibly on a more superficial um plane level just at this point phenomenal phenomenal the drumming on this one my god I highlighted around that five minute mark 
that snare groove. I'm just a sucker for any type. It wasn't it wasn't like a march, but it was like a it was almost like a New Orleans like snare cadence solo sort of thing but then you know brought the toms in and just had like this solo vocab around the drums and then we had like really nice shuffles and then just locking them with this really powerful riff and grooving away then we had the big slow halftime just that grinding sort of grungy sludgy tempo really really dug it guys original video link in the description of each of my videos this band deserves your support what do we got here we're at 285 subscribers for earth drive please do go along support them hit them with a sub tell them i sent you guys i'm gonna leave this one here for today please do hit subscribe leave a comment and hit that like button it really helps me out until next time keep chopping wood ciao